the time has finally arrived. You've never seen anything like it anywhere on Earth. What's under this clock is the most powerful gaming system ever built. Is there an echo in here? It's six times as powerful as any Uggum we've ever attempted to build. Women and children scream in terror at its sheer unadulterated magnitude. It plays computer games, PlayStation 2 games, Xbox games, GameCube games, Nintendo games, Atari games, the games people play. Ladies and gentlemen, the screensavers presents the pinnacle of video gaming systems, Yoshi's Everybody, let's all gather around Yoshi's box. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, the man who made Yoshi's box. What it is today, Yoshi. <laughs> That's why we call it Yoshi's box. <laughs> what is this? Um, a lot of time <laughs> on my hands. At one point, you were up 100 hours straight. You yeah. got four hours sleep in 100 hours, yeah. getting this thing together. <laughs> Tell us what is so special about Yoshi's box. Uh, well, we kind of got the crazy idea in our head that we would take a PC and an Xbox and a GameCube and put it together, and then we thought, well, let's add a PS2 and an Atari and a Nintendo, too. So how many game systems are in here? Six, including the PC. Uh, and you've got front panels for each so that you can actually yes. get access to it. Let me take off the yeah. side. Customized. We're talking heavy Dremel tool use here. <laughs> inside, there's Yoshi's box. Give us a little tour of what's inside. We kind of swing around a little bit here. Yeah, you're going to swing yourself around and then, uh, yeah. We have the standard PC layout. All right, which, you got you PC know, in there. It's a pretty good gaming system. Oh, yeah, it's a uh, Athlon XP2100. We got uh, PC2700 RAM. What kind of video card in there? Right now, we have an ATI all in wonder because I was trying to run the Atari through that. You, need a, you needed a TV out card. Yeah, but I ran into a little problem. It doesn't want to really run the TV through the card for some reason, or the Atari through the So maybe the we'll put TV. a better, like a GeForce 4 in there. I'm going to put a GeForce 4 in there, right. and I'm going to do a little hack on the Atari and make it just How did you composite get, out. Now, where's the Xbox stuff? Well, the Xbox motherboard is up here. So you actually took the motherboard so out of the case. Up here. All right. And the power supply is attached to the roof up here. Let's tilt it back <laughs> so we get some light. There. So that fan on the top up there, on the that's top the Xbox. Here. Up a little higher. There it All is. All the way up there. That, what's that there? <laughs> that's the power supply for the Xbox. Xbox power there. supply. Oh, man. <laughs> a lot of custom machine work in here. That's yeah. the Xbox. Not, what's next? Um, well, what's next? The GameCube is up here in our top drive bay. OK. Um, had to actually take a belt sander to the side of that to get it to fit properly because it was about <laughs> two millimeters too just, wide. So you just sanded it down. I just a sanded bit. it down and stuck it right in. Um, our PlayStation 2 right here. I had to relocate the power supply into the bay, one of the bays there. Um, mounting it in the front was pretty straightforward. Now the I front just, is important because you have to have access to the CD-ROM drive for wait. the PlayStation. You had a little trouble for the GameCube because it opens up. Yeah. So we had to put that on the top. I don't know if you can get that up here, but there you go. Hit the eject on it. And you can see, there's the, there's the GameCube. But you had to do that. There was no other way. Oh, and by the way, you, the get, way. you, you got the Xbox logo on there. Microsoft's ah, going to love that. <laughs> all right. I'm sure they will. What else? Look at these fans. Look at those. They're all lit up. Those How are they doing awesome. that? I got these from ThinkGeek. Um, they're basically LED lights with fiber optic tubing going onto the fan, and it just transmits the light through and spins. But now you got a little wacky, because, okay, so you got the GameCube, you got the PlayStation 2, and you got the Xbox in there. But then you said, what about retro? And we're not going to play MAME, we're going to play the real thing. We've got a Super NES, there's, there's Mario right there, baby. <laughs> so. There's your cartridge, and you got an Atari 2600 VCS in there. Yep, I got can't. it all packed in here. Where, where is the Atari? I don't see <laughs> it. Atari's right here. And um, how do you get the get cartridge in? Shorter, oh, I see, there's a, there's this, on it. good lord, where'd you get that? The straight in from the side. <laughs> 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 and the Nintendo up here just... Oh, you were, you were whack, man. That is wild. <laughs> How big a power supply to keep all this stuff running? Uh, 400 watt. E each of the little game systems has its own power so supply we don't have to worry independently. About that. Right. Yeah. And then everything, I used a 9-pin serial is, switcher to switch the video is, and audio. Is, is this just for fun, the toggle switches on the front? Does that no, do actually, anything? this is our PC power reset, our Nintendo power reset. Each one does reset. something. Everyone does something. That looks it's like a reset or a It looks my, like my old Mitz Altair. And this what's, is my yeah, what's AV the big selector. Knob? That's our AV selector. If we look over here at the So TV, we got it hooked up to a television set over the on the other side. The there you go. Over there. You could change which PC. one you're seeing. That there's our PS2. Get, get, our, the, get the shot of the screen behind them, guys. Yeah, we don't care about the knob. Over there. We care about the screen. <laughs> Watch the screen. So that's our Xbox. Go back. PC, PS2, Xbox, GameCube. 
Yoshi, and you're a madman. That would be the Nintendo. Which How much is did you spend? Little... Now, I'm not talking about buying the boxes, but you, the, you, the, the, first of all, what kind of case is this? This is a nice case. Uh, it's a Lanley PC76, I believe. Oh, beautiful case. Did you have to mod it in any way to get all that stuff in there? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. What'd you do? <laughs> Um, I cut most of the bays out, all the hard drive enclosures I had to go, I needed the room. I ended up mounting the hard drives vertical where the motherboard would normally go here. Look at that. So the hard drives all got in here rather than being flat underneath here. Um, everything was a matter of modifying. That is amazing. <laughs> Truly amazing. How much time did you spend? Oh. I don't know. You didn't count. I have a lot Which, of time What's on my good hands. though is, is on the website there's pictures. You took pictures every step of the way, so we could see the process bit by bit. We've got video and pictures on the website. There's Everything. A time is lapse here. video of it. Too. Look, here, here we go. This is <laughs> Yoshi, you madman. Is this your house? Yeah, that's my apartment. <laughs> Did your roommates think there was anything odd about you at the? Oh, uh, uh, I luckily I live by myself, oh. so it doesn't matter now what we I do. Now we know why. <laughs> yes, yes. Now we do know why. Hey, Yoshi, <laughs> this is truly awesome. How much did we spend to put this together? We have any idea? All total in parts, around four thousand. Four thousand bucks. But folks, every game you could ever want to play in this box, and they all look great. What are you going to do next, Yoshi? How can you top this? Uh, I have a few ideas. We'll just have to. Keep watching. All right. Yeah, he does. He has some great ideas. <laughs> That's it. Yoshi's box, kids. Let's hear it for him. <laughs> to read all about the installation design of this piece, hear about it for himself from the man Yoshi at thescreensavers.com.